attacked me. I think I might be onto something. Your mom and I decided we need a little romance in our lives. So I'm making all her favorite things for breakfast. Spinach quiche, blueberry muffins, a tropical fruit salad, and a stuffed turkey with all the fixins. Wow, that's quite a spread. Even if Thanksgiving is six months away. And my present to your father is that we're going out of town for the night to celebrate. Really? Where are we going? We aren't. It's your father and I who are going away. You four are staying here. Really? That's awesome. I mean, how awesome for you. And you have nothing to worry about. I'll take care of everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very nice offer, Lee. But we aren't leaving you in charge. We're leaving you all with a babysitter. Her name is Melinda, and she'll be here at 5 p.m. on the dot, so no dilly-dallying. I'm so excited. Having a babysitter is going to be seriously fun. No kidding. We can get away with all kinds of stuff with her in the house. Plus, it'll be nice to have another girl around. I mean, I'm 13. I'm no baby, and I definitely don't need to be sitted. Oh, yeah? Tell that to Mom and Dad, because they so don't agree. And judging by that pouty face you're making, you might just be the biggest baby of all. Speaking of being sitted, I've been <gasps> sitting here for quite some time waiting for you. Jerry? Is that you? Indeed. Now, chop chop, it's spy time. Ah! 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 <laughs> I always thought Jerry was a bit of a bird brain, and this totally confirms it! So, what's our assignment, Jerry? You're to investigate the mysterious disappearance of two of our most beloved whoop agents. <gasps> what exactly do you mean by mysterious? Mysterious, as in vanished without a trace. One minute they were on a mission, the next minute they were gone. Jerry, this is Brittany. I think I might be onto something. <laughs> Now, I'm afraid this transmission is all we have to go on. She was looking into the disappearance of an agent named Dean at the time. Too bad all we can see is the reflection from the glass window Brittany was looking through. Indeed. Now, allow me to access your gear. Lee, will you do the honors? Sure, boss. Today we have the pocket parachute, the rain or shine umbrella shield, Ooh, functional and cute, the ferocious flash button camera. Wow, impressive technology. And last but not least, the SSSSSSS. AKA the Stealthy Silent 7 Seater Supersonic Surfboard, the ultimate in sporting equipment. Awesome, instead of hanging dead, we can hang seven. Huh? Oh dear, it appears another agent, Blaine, is in danger. Don't worry, Chair, we'll take care of it. Ha! 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 Yeah! Excellent, now off you go to Monaco. <laughs> Abduction. I'm glad you like it, because I'm tracking the distress call to a yacht up ahead. Uh, I think we'll have a better chance of stopping the villain if we approach in a stealthier mode. See no more, baby face. Oh. I'm so gonna pretend you didn't just say that. Finally, I got you as smooth as we are. There it is, spies, the yacht. In that case, it's time for a little tag team action. Old brother that still needs a babysitter. Very funny, Mark. <gasps> Come on, guys, that's our cue. <laughs> Hold it right there. Actually, you're the 
ones who are gonna need to hold it. If you move, the liquids will mix together and explode. <laughs> of course, if you don't move, the fuse will ignite the liquids anyway. And it's goodbye, Spice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Monaco just went from glamorous to treacherous. We better think of something quick, because that fuse isn't getting any longer. Then I guess we're all going to have to move at once. On the count of three. One, two, three! Awesome plan, Boy Wonder. You can thank me later. Right now, we've got a bad guy to stop. Great idea, except for the part where he's taking off on our surfboard. Oh, well, at least he left the clue. He did? Yeah, some kind of weird rubbery substance. Now let's get back to Whoop and analyze it ASAP. <gasps> Sorry, big bro. What we need to do is get home ASAP. You're right. Lee's babysitter's gonna be there any minute. Uh. Uh. We made it back on time. Hi, I'm Melinda. I'm really pumped to be here. Well, we're pumped to have you. After all, you come highly recommended. Which is why you have nothing to worry about while you're gone. We're all gonna have an unforgettable time together. <clears throat> then I suppose we'd better get out of your hair. Bye, kids. Who wants help with their homework? Mm, that depends. You know anything about computer science? <laughs> well, I know a little something. On account of it's my major. No way! You're a techie too? How about you, Megan? What can I help you out with? I got anything. Unless you happen to speak French. Mais oui. French is my minor. Computers and foreign languages? You're too good to be true. Unfortunately, I don't have any homework. But I do need to work on my soccer moves. I'll be happy to show you all I know. Which is a lot, considering I'm on my school squad. <laughs> awesome! What can I do for you, Lee? Nothing. I've got it all under control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real controlled, big boy. Okay, guys, it's dinner time. Tell me what you'd like to eat. I'll take a burger. Salad, please. Large pizza with the works. No problem. I can make them all. So, not only are you super smart and athletic, but you're also a gourmet cook? Afraid so. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. You're officially the best babysitter ever! <laughs> Thanks! So, what do you want for dinner, Lee? I'm an expert at baking and egg smiley faces! I'm old enough to fix my own meal, preferably one without a face. <laughs> wow, another great move, Mr. Maturity! everyone, it's movie time. Should we watch the Kid Wizard story, the child spy film, or the tween girl flick? I see we watch them all. Yeah! Let's do it! Then I guess I better make extra popcorn. Are you in, Lee? No way! I'm not interested in watching any dumb kids movies. Oh, really? Then why did you uh, just spend three months allowance buying the entire animated Penguin feature trilogy? Give me those! <laughs> Oh, so what if I like penguin movies and can't make my own dinner? I'm a professional spy. I don't need to be treated like a child. And I'm gonna prove just how adult I am by busting out of here. Thanks to the pocket parachute, no one will be the wiser. So, what should I do first? Visit a friend's house, take it a football game, go to a PG-13 movie. Ah! Help me! Ah! <laughs> Hello? Sorry for ringing you so late, but I have important information. After analyzing the sample you sent, I've determined that the substance is some kind of synthetic skin. 
And in kids speak, that means? Whomever we're dealing with could be wearing a disguise, so you should be extremely careful and keep an eye on each other. Speaking of which, where has your babysitter gone off to? I don't know. She was here when we fell asleep. Come on. We better make sure nothing bad happened to her. Okay. Not only is Melinda MIA, but so is Lee. Then we'd better investigate OTT. OTT? On the triple! Oh, that won't be necessary. Melinda, you're okay! Of course I am, silly. Well, what about Lee? Where is he? He snuck out of the house, but I'll take you to him. Right after I slip into something more comfortable. <laughs> I can't believe it! You tricked us! <laughs> Sorry, that's just what us evil spies do. Evil spies? What are you talking about? And more importantly, where's our brother and the other agents? You'll find all that out soon enough. <laughs> but not as soon as you might think. <laughs> Okay, no, that was just plain sneaky. Sorry, that's just what us good spies do. And to think I was actually starting to develop a crush on her. <laughs> Tell me again why we're hiding in a broom closet, Mark. Because it's the only place I could think of. Okay, so now that we're here, what should we do? Figure out exactly who we're dealing with. Luckily, I was able to snap a close-up. Way. According to the database, his name is Mel, and he used to be a whoop spy. One of the most talented the agency has ever known. Guess that explains why he's mastered everything from Disguise 101 to advanced food prep. So what went wrong? When he was denied a promotion, he turned evil and tried to blow up Whoop and spent the last year in prison until he broke out. And now he's kidnapping spies to get revenge? There's only one person who can answer that for sure, Lee. Which is exactly why I'm gonna call him. There's no answer. Then I'm going to send Jerry an SOS. And in the meantime, if we want to save Lee and the others, we're going to have to take out Mel. <laughs> Where are you, you little spies? Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> There she, uh, I mean, he is. I see we introduce him to the old Clark family ambush. Good idea. Wait until I give the signal. Okay. Go! <laughs> <laughs> now, who's schooling who? <laughs> Cute, but there's no way I'm going down that easily. Because in addition to being brainy, sporty, and charming, I'm also a master of spy jitsu. <laughs> 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 Boy, when Melinda said we were going to have an unforgettable time, she wasn't kidding. Okay, no more Mr. Nice Spy. It's time to kick things up a notch. Figures a computer science nerd would have terrible aim. Yeah. Good thing he's got a soccer player brother to back him up. Yeah. <laughs> or not. Okay, kitties. I've had enough funny games. It's time to show you who's in charge. <laughs> The rain or shine umbrella shield. <gasps> yeah! Wow, awesome move, Megan! Big time! Now we need to find Lee and the other spies. And then I suggest you climb aboard. <gasps> Jerry! In the flesh, you may have captured me, but you'll never find your friends. <laughs> 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 
I came just as soon as I got your signal. Well, here's another red alert for you. Former Whoop agent Mel is the one behind the kidnappings. Of course. He's abducting the very spies who were promoted instead of him. I should have realized it earlier. Well, thanks to Megan, he's no longer a threat. Now all we've got to do is find his lair. Too bad Whoop doesn't have any psychics on staff. Who needs psychics when you have video? Come again? Jer, could you replay the transmission Brittany sent you? Jerry, this is Brittany. I think I might be onto something. Look. Uh, all I see is a smudge. It's not a smudge, Megan. It's an image reflected in the glass. If I can invert it and bring it into focus, we might be in business. Whoa, it's a neon sign in the shape of a hat. According to the computer, it's located in the city's warehouse district. Then that means Lee and the others are in the building across the street. Then what are we waiting for? Let's kick this bird into high gear. You got it, spies. Time for some quick work, team. The fuses on the bombs are about to run out. Way to state the obvious, Jer. Luckily, I've already noticed the sprinkler valves all over the ceiling. Then all we've got to do is find the main switch and turn them on. There it is, on the other side of the room. No problem with our jet boots. Wait a second! Uh, isn't there such a thing as an easy mission? Yes, not, because the only way we're going to get to that valve is to walk on top of the bombs. Easy, spies. Just like you're walking on logs across water. Yeah, except logs don't explode. <laughs> Just put one foot in front of the other and think about Lee. The, the part where I want to save him or the part where I want to yell at him for sneaking out? You can yell at him later. Right now, we need to form a human totem pole, biggest to smallest. <laughs> Togetherness, but this is ridiculous. Okay, T. Less talking, more sprinkler triggering. Saving me, guys, and I'm really sorry I acted like such a baby. Baby doesn't even begin to cover it. Megan's right. Sneaking out of the house was about the least grown-up thing you could do. Yeah, I know. It'll never happen again. Uh, guys, speaking of grown-ups, Mom and Dad are gonna be home any minute. You're right. And not only are we not home, our house is totally trashed. It is. It quite. But no worries. Uncle Jerry will take care of everything. <laughs> Behold, the Whoop Car, or Cleaning and Repair Robot. Amazing. I'll have to borrow it next time Tony's half of our room gets messy. How many times have I told you? I'm not messy, just artistic. We're back! <gasps> Did you miss us? More than you could ever imagine. Hey, where's Melinda? Here I am! <gasps> did you have a nice time on your getaway? We did. Which is why we're going away again next weekend. Are you free to babysit? Stop 
There's only so much a man can take. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs>